Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at our onboard process. So if you are someone that went ahead and took a look at the HOA Start platform, and you went ahead and signed up with your community, today we're going to look at what's next. So for any of our clients, they're going to have full access to our onboard process. With our onboarding, you will have a dedicated onboard specialist who is your singular point of contact at HOA Start. They are with you from the initial build out all the way to launching, going live, and welcoming your residents to the new site. When you are a client, you will find the onboard section here on the left-hand side. And you can see that it is a step-by-step -step process, one through nine. You can absolutely do those in chronological order. When I review this, I usually share that I break it down into three main sections. And that's what we're going to look at today. We will break it down into steps one through three, which is going to be your website build out. You have steps four and five. This is going to be working with all of your member, household, lot, and home information. So what does it look like to import that? What does it look like to work with that data? And then the last steps are going to be working on uploading all of your content and building out any of your features and functions, be that architectural request submissions or renting out the clubhouse. In this video, if you are at a specific stage, you will find shortcuts to those three items. So feel free to go ahead and click forward to one of those. If not, I will start by breaking down the website build out. All right, so you've decided to utilize the HOA Start platform. We're gonna build an amazing site and resident experience. Where do we start? Well, the nice thing is steps one and two are simply your team making decisions so that the onboard specialist can go pre-build out your website. When you first enter into step one, you will be choosing a theme and letting us know what you're utilizing for the domain. When choosing a theme, there will be a link out to our designs. There is no functional difference between the themes that you choose. It's purely aesthetic. You can click into any of these themes and actually check out the demo sites of them as well. Keep in mind that all of the inner templates, not just the homepage, will change for consistency. So if you are using a design that doesn't have a backdrop or has a two-point shadow window box around photos or anything of that nature, that is going to carry through into your internal page templates. So your team can choose which theme they want to utilize. You're able to choose what domain you want to use. You can have us register a domain for you. You can transfer your domain to us so that we can manage it. Or you can simply hold on to the domain you have today, and we will assist in helping you update your domain name records so that it points to your new site. It's as simple as that. Step two is going to be telling us what functions and features you'd like to utilize, as well as what is public and private. If you have a current site, I highly suggest sending that over to your onboard specialist as well. So while they build this out, they can also reference that, ask questions, make sure you didn't miss anything, and make sure that you're bringing everything over correctly. Based on the decisions that your team makes, in step one and step two, your onboard specialist is going to pre-build out your community site, navigation, and templates. At this time, you can begin step three, which is going into the site builder and building out your website content. 
When doing so, please keep in mind that most of the information that you are building is going to be your static content. As an administrator, when uploading documents, when creating forms, when creating amenities, all of those will instantly and automatically be pulled onto the website on those specific templates. So when you are working through website content, what that is referencing is adding your own customized photos, adding your own written content specific to your association. If you have a current site today, very easy to do. It's simply going to be a copy and paste. If you don't have a website, really good to start thinking about that from the beginning. What do we want to talk about? Take a look at some of our example sites and as a board and management team, determine would it be helpful to share board member information? Should we have calendar entries? Do we want to have an FAQ? And if so, what topics do we want to talk about? So when it comes to website content, we are mostly looking for static content, written content, and photos that we want to be adding to the site. Now, throughout this process, you have access to your onboard specialist. You are able to ask questions. Everything is tied directly into the system. The fantastic thing about that is if you have multiple administrators or multiple board members working in the system, they're all going to have access to questions and they can collaborate in this space as well. For your support staff and for your onboarding team, they are all US based and work only for HOA Start. They, their team is on the Eastern time zone. So their normal hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they have a great turnaround time to responses as well. Now that we've looked at building out some of our website settings, as well as uploading some of our website content, I'm going to move into the next section, which is our member, lot, and home data. While someone is working on updating that website content, they or someone else can also start working on steps four and five. A big part around steps four and five is gonna be determining how do we want to enter member data. If you don't have any data today, or if it's potentially not up to date, this may be something where you are going to allow for members to register directly through your site. If you are professionally managed, if you already have a membership management platform, or potentially maybe you just have a local Excel file with resident contact information, that is where you will be able to import directly into our system and it will automatically build out your resident profiles as well as all of their information. In each step, it's gonna direct you step-by-step step on what to do. There are links to our resources, both written and video, and it will help walk you through the individual step. Going hand in hand with registering your members are gonna be some decisions around how you wanna organize your residents and do we want to utilize households for items like online dues and online voting? Again, this is heavily going to depend on the makeup of your community, what you are utilizing our platform for, and how you want to engage your residents. If we do set up a household's database, you will be able to send your monthly, quarterly, or annual dues to each home as well as provide voting to each home at the click of a button. What this will allow you to do is members can log in. And if you have three members that live at 123 Good Street, they will all receive and have access to the same association due and the same vote. When one of them pays or votes, 
it will show as paid or voted across the board. Makes your life as a property manager or board member very easy as you don't have to determine which individual is the payee and which individual is going to have the voting rights. So again, if this is something that you are having public registration, there's really no work involved. If this is something where we are importing data, there may be some cleanup needed on that document. Once you are ready, a suggestion is to send over your membership roster document to your onboard specialist. Let them take a quick look before uploading that. That way they are able to make any suggestions needed. So while we have somebody or a team building out the website, updating our content, maybe taking some new photos locally and getting those uploaded, while we have someone that is working through updating our member data and cleaning up our Excel file before uploading, the other third of the project is going to be working through the individual functions and features. A great way to think about that is to simply open up our features, open up our forms, and dig into each one of those. This is a great overview of everything that is available feature-based for your community site, and really can be done just going through piece by piece. So if we do have a community calendar, being able to go in and start updating and editing with our various calendar entries. If we currently have some documents, whether they are ongoing meeting minutes, uh, financial history, our covenants and restrictions and governing documents, very easy to come in, start building out our folder structure and begin mass uploading directly into the system. If you do have any forms today, it's a great idea to come in here and build those out so they're available online for your residents. The onboard phase and your association and board choosing to build a new platform makes it a great time to revisit your processes. So if you have various committees like an architectural committee, like a security committee, it's a great time to take a look and say, hey, are there any updates that you want to make to your form? Is this a committee that we want to open up to registration for our residents? Is there any way that we want to go ahead and customize the way that residents reach out and contact our board? And so not only are we just bringing over information and building out the site, but it is a great time to think about any use cases that are either a pain point for the board or residents or something you think can require some improvement. I always ask that clients and potential clients share with me and my team any of your use cases. Please share that with your onboarding team as well. Not to say that your community isn't unique, but we work with thousands of associations across the US. So generally, if you have an issue in your association, We've heard it before, and we may have a suggestion on how to fix it using a feature or function of our platform. Some final resources for you that you might find helpful. Please keep in mind that in addition to your onboard specialist, if you go down the left-hand side under support, you do have access to all of our help resources. I do also want to share when building out your site, if you are not familiar with some of the pages that are available to you, free.hoastart.com backslash pages and templates. Free.hoastart.com slash pages and templates. This is going to have a full list of internal templates that you're able to utilize throughout the site. So if you are looking for, say, a content-rich page with photos and things of that nature, 
you're going to be able to look through the various templates that we have available. That way, when building out the site, editing the site, or passing along requests to your onboard specialist, you can refer to the templates by their name and see exactly what the experience is that they provide. We are excited to have your community as part of our growing HOA Start family. Thanks so much for trusting in us in providing the software and platform uh, for communications, for processes, and for resident engagement. Again, this is Ryan Grubb over at HOA Start. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.